Senate Resolution 43 by Senators Gonch, Ferns, Carnes, Romano, Klein, Seipolt, Swope, Boso, Stallings, Plymel, and Prezioso recognizing Homer Hickam. The senior senator from the 8th. Thank you, Mr. President. I request unanimous consent that the resolution be taken up for immediate consideration, committee reference be dispensed with, and the resolution be put upon its adoption. The senior senator from the 8th requests unanimous consent that the resolution be taken up for immediate consideration, that the committee reference be dispensed with, and that the resolution be placed upon its adoption. Is there objection? Chair hears none. The clerk will read the resolution. Senate Resolution 43, recognizing West Virginia native Homer Hickam, United States Army veteran, famed author, and dedicated public servant. The question before the Senate is adoption of resolution. The senior senator from the 8th. Thank you again, Mr. President. It's a special day in the Senate. We get a chance to honor one of our native sons. Homer Hickam was born and raised in Colwood, West Virginia. He graduated from Big Creek High School in 1960 and from Virginia Tech in 1964 with a, degree, a bachelor's of science degree in industrial engineering. He served as our country as a first lieutenant in the 4th Infantry Division in Vietnam in 1967 and 1968, was awarded the Army Commendation and Bronze Star Medals. Mr. Hickam served six years as an, on active duty, leaving the service, service with the rank of captain. Perhaps best known for his writing, which began in 1969, his first book, Torpedo Junction, was a military bestseller published in 1989 by the, Nash, by the Naval Institute Press. Uh, he's been a New York Times number one bestseller author for several books, including The Coldwood Way, Sky of Stone, We Are Not Afraid, Red Helmet, Carrying Albert Home, and the classic Rocket Boys, the one that I identify with the most, which was the basis for the motion picture October Sky, which I just watched again this weekend for about the tenth time. Mr. Hickam was employed as an engineer for the U.S. Army Missile Command from 1971 to 81 and assigned to Huntsville, Alabama, and Germany. He was employed by NASA at the Marshall Space Flight Center as an aerospace engineer, and during his NASA career, he worked on spacecraft design and crew training. He also trained astronaut crews for many space lab and space shuttle miss missions, including the Hubble Space Telescope deployment mission, the first two Hubble repair missions, Space Lab J, and the Solar Max repair mission. Prior to his retirement in 1998, Mr. Hickam was the payload training manager for the International Space Station program. He holds an honorary doctorate of literature from Marshall University and is a proud knight of the Golden Horseshoe. Mr. President, colleagues, we have the honor today to welcome our native son, the original Rocket Boy, and I stand in uh, uh, approval of this resolution and ask that you do likewise. Further discussion? The Senator from Nicholas. Mr. President, it's not every day that I get to stand and talk about a fellow engineer being one of, being the only registered design professional that sits in either of these two houses. I recognize what the E in STEM stands for, engineering. But you know what's interesting? And we've started talking uh, in generalities in the engineering community and, in, and, and the STEM community putting an A into that to make it STEAM. And the A stands for the arts. And Mr. Hickam has done just exactly that. He's blended the engineering and, and the arts together in his writings that have really impacted the engineering community as a whole. But more importantly, he's brought to the realization on widescreen that engineers start very, very young sometimes just shooting a rocket off in the middle of a field. Mr. President, it's my honor to stand as well with my, senator, my fellow senator from the 8th to say I urge support of this resolution. Further discussion? Further discussion. If not, the question before the Senate is adoption of the resolution. All those in favor will say aye. aye. Those opposed, no. The ayes appear to have it. The ayes do have it. I declare the resolution adopted. The senator from Ohio. Thank you, Mr. President. I move the Senate stand in brief recess for the purpose of presenting the resolution. Senator from Ohio moves the Senate stand in brief recess for the purpose of presenting this resolution. All those in favor will say aye. aye. 
Those opposed, no. The ayes appear to have it. The ayes do have it. I declare the Senate in brief recess to present this resolution.